Okay, I'm wearing my uh, Cricket Legends of Barbados hat. And this is the Griswold's Family Christmas. So I was going to talk about what is the meaning of a true Christmas, but I'm going to pass on that, and I'm not going to talk about Barbados. I'm listening to a song that just came on the radio. It's Christopher Cross, and it's Ride Like the Wind. Okay, so why did the radio play Ride Like the Wind for me? Well, it seems like it's time to make a run for it. So, what does it mean? Uh, on my feed recently, I keep seeing Dr. David R. Hawkins, who, you know, I didn't know personally, but I listened to a great deal of his videos. Um, hours and hours and hours of Dr. Hawkins and I still listen to Dr. Hawkins and he said the time will come when you will know it is time to make a run for it now what does this run mean it means it's time for you to realize that your time on this planet is short. And you might have already accomplished certain things in your life. You might already have, you know, built yourself a nest egg of money. And now you are looking to spend your money and your time. But the song came on because it said it's time to make a run for it. And what does that mean? Well, everyone knows that I'm a spiritual person. I am not a religious person. I know a bit about religions, but I am not a religious person. But I am a spiritual person. I am driven by spirit. And to make a run for it, to ride like the wind and make a run for it, you are running for... A higher purpose. It is time to, instead of spending your money on toys and trips and food and booze, it is time to invest your money and invest your time in figuring out who you really are inside. The gates of enlightenment. How are you going to do this? Well, it's all pre-programmed for you. All you have to do is say yes. Yes, 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 yes. And what is the question you're saying yes to? You're saying, no, I don't want any more booze. No, I don't want any more sex. No, I don't want any more toys. I don't want any more trips. I don't want any more following my bliss. Isn't that strange? I am saying it's time to stop following your bliss. And that is what everyone else says that you should do. Why am I saying that? Because following your bliss is all about your, your body, your body, making your body happy. You think that body sensations are what are going to give you bliss and you like the feeling of your body feeling wonderful.
And that is what people say, following your bliss is making your body feel and your senses feel wonderful. No, that is a trap and a wrong turn if you were all about owning a huge castle on the hill and keeping up with the Joneses. No, it is not about that. And it is not an easy thing to say, I am going to give up on following my dream of being the biggest king or the biggest queen in town or in the world or whatever. I am going to give up on that dream and I am going to look for something new. I am going to go on a quest. And it's not going to be an outer quest. I am not going to be driving across North America. I am not going to Peru. I am not going to Machu Picchu or Sedona. I am not going to Lourdes. I am not going to Stonehenge. I am not going to some physical place to find this. I am not going to search for my perfect person who is going to be my mate. That is another trap. Searching and searching for the perfect person to make you complete. Or some people will say, well, I'm complete, complete myself, but I still would like to have another person around me as a wingman or whatever. <sighs> Please put that aside. Your job is to go within you within you, which is, means a lot less traveling, a lot less boozing and drugging, a lot more feeling what you're feeling. And if you're not feeling bliss in your body because you're not high on a dozen beers or a bottle of champagne or God knows what else, you're going to feel what you feel. And you run away from feeling what you really feel because all these other attractions are there for you. And everyone is doing it, so why won't you do it? I worked hard five days, and now it's my time to relax and get bombed. You gotta ride like the wind, and it's not to the bottle. It's not to the bottle, it's not to the bar, and, you know, it's it's not living the high life. It is for you, preferably to isolate yourself from other human beings as much as you can. So if you've got all kinds of dinner plans and party plans, um, cancel them. Cancel them and tell them a lie and say, I am sick and I cannot go. I've got other commitments. Whatever, lie through your teeth. And avoid going to all these things. If you have got trips planned, cancel them. Go into your bedroom. Lock the door. Get into bed. Pull on your blankets. Close your eyes. Make sure you get a good rest. And then when you wake up at three o'clock in the morning, go pee, come back into bed, and be with yourself. Be with yourself. See what is coming up for you. What memories are coming up for you? What pain are you feeling in your body? And if there's pain, then try and figure out what is this pain related to? If you have dreams and you see certain things, I saw a bear in my dream. Then you go onto your smartphone and you go to Google and you type in, what is the symbology of a bear? You go into symbology because you're going to look in your dreams to see what is coming up and what symbol symbologically that means to you. Now, when you are awake and wandering around your city, town, or country, you are living in a dream. Believe it or not, it is called a waking lucid dream. 
So things that you see, you get on your Googleizer, and you type in what is the symbology of whatever it is that you have just seen. If you happen to glance at a television screen and it's a hockey game and you see a number on the back of the player's jersey and maybe the number is 22, you go look up the meaning of 22. Your, this is your mission. If you are going to get anything out of your life, you are going to have to figure out what the world is telling you. You are, do not live in a dead world. Contrary to what everyone else thinks, you have to go and figure out that the world around you is consciousness and it is alive and it is talking to you. And it might not be talking to you in English all the time. So you have to figure it out. If you do not do this, you have wasted your opportunity to relieve yourself of everything that has brought you here and you're going to have to come and do it again. What a waste of time. What a waste of time to come back to this place and do it again. And you will see the same shit that you see here now. And no one can tell me that you have not seen things that are upsetting in this world. Things that make you want to barf and puke. And you put them out of your mind as much as you can because you can't deal with the horror of this world. So, if you want to come back and see the horror again and spend another lifetime avoiding the horror, be my guest. But there are other realms that you can go to. And to do that, you have to improve yourself. You have to figure out, why am I here? Why am I? Why is all this stuff happening to me? Why, 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 why? Why, 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 why? And what do I got to do so I don't have to come back to this place that's a horror? Time is ticking. Time is ticking. Time is ticking. What are you hearing? I'm hearing in my head. I'm a, I'm just going to act, okay? I'm going to act like someone who's watching my video, okay? I'm acting like someone watching my video. It may not be you, but it's somebody. Somebody is saying, Yabbit. Yabbit. I've got this, and I got that, and I've got this, and I this is a pressing thing, and this is a pressing thing, and then I got another bunch of fingers, and I've got toes worth of things that I have to do. So thank you for telling me this, but I cannot do that. I must do all these other things. It's a yabbit person. A person who has no courage. No courage is what I'm calling you yellow. Yellow-bellied person. Coward. A coward. The coward of the county? No, because the coward of the county, he fought. I am asking you not to fight other people, but to fight your own internal things that keep coming up, that are stopping you from going and lying on the couch, closing your eyes, turning off all the noise and everything, and going within yourself to figure out what is going on. Why are you here? Why, maybe, maybe why you hurt? Why did somebody cause you trouble? Why, 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 And that's all you're supposed to do is go within and keep trying to figure it out and not running to every other distraction. And if you do run for distractions, I'm going to call you a yellow-bellied coward because you have failed life on earth. You have failed 
all your fellow beings and you have failed me because I am here still because there's a hell of a lot of you that are cowards and you are refusing to go within and learn what it is inside of you that needs to come out. Thank you for listening. I am available for questions, comments. Stick your finger in my eye. Tell me I'm wrong. Say that I'm the coward. But I will tell you, I have spent the time going within. I have invested my time on spiritual pursuits not chasing the almighty buck, although I have done a lot of Joe jobs in order to keep myself going. Now is the time. Cut all your ties. Go within. Stop avoiding things. Stop going to the liquor store. Stop going to gangbangs. Stop going to restaurants. Stop going on trips. Stop watching the stupid television. Stop going shopping. If you're going shopping all the time, it's an avoidance thing. It's an avoidance thing. If you've got to go look after your children, you tell your children, I'm sorry, I don't have time to look after any more of your events. You have to figure it out on your own. Change whatever you're doing. I am not available to go on trips. I am not available to take you to the pool or to wherever. I am not available. Take the bus. You're on your own. Why? Because you don't have time for all that shit. You don't have time for all that shit. You don't have much time. I'm a young person. I've got all the time in the world. No, you don't. You don't know when your time is up. And if you don't make a move now, it is a sign to the spirit that you are a coward and you're unable to drag yourself away from stupid human things to do something more important than stupid human things. The true meaning of Christmas? For me, it's winter. Now is the winter of my discontent, saith... William Shakespeare. And now is the winter of my discontent, Robert Burroughs, because I am sick to death of seeing people running around doing the things that I described and not getting on with life. Real life, not bullshit things that you have been taught by your society and your stupid television and your stupid friends. Thank you for listening.